Hello, I'm Hortensia Beret for the Finance News Network and joining me is WH Sol Patterson Managing Director Todd Barlow. Todd, welcome to FNN. Thank you very much. WH Sol Patterson is a significant investor with interest across a broad range of sectors. What is your core investment approach? WHSP is a uh, diversified investor across a range of different uh, investments. Uh, we have a portfolio of, of uh, private equity, um, public listed equities, uh, property, uh, and we have some very big positions in some companies. Our core approach is to partner with uh, highly prospective growth companies uh, and partner with them as a supportive capital partner. Uh, our approach is to be a long-term investor, which means not only that we'll hold for the long term, but also that we'll identify long-term themes. Uh, we also try to be a value-focused investor and a counter-cyclical investor. Uh, and that means our best returns will be when we make investments when other people are, are being a bit more cautious. And what weight do you put on investment trends and themes? They're vitally important to us. Uh, yeah, we need to distinguish between what's a short-term fad and what's a long-term investment theme. Uh, a lot of people invest in short-term fads and ride that momentum. Uh, and that's fine if you're a trader, but that's not our style. Uh, our approach is to look at long-term investment themes that are going to play out over a long period of time. Uh, and when we look at long-term investment things, we look at not only demographic trends, but also what Australia is good at. So we try to identify industries where Australia has a globally competitive advantage. And uh, yeah, we think macro trends are vitally important. It's really difficult to grow a business when the market's shrinking. Now to your portfolio, can you give us an update? Sure. Well, across the three major assets, the, the big news, I guess, is the uh, recent uh, federal court decision to uh, uh, allow the merger of TPG and Vodafone. Uh, we think that that was you know, a really great decision for us. Uh, we think it's great for the company. We think it's great for the industry. Those companies will be highly synergistic uh, and they'll also be able to compete aggressively with the, the major telcos. Uh, so that'll be really good for our investment in TPG. Uh, Brickworks is also performing really well on the back of its move into uh, the US market. It's made a few acquisitions there. Uh, and it's also um, developing out its industrial property portfolio, which is, uh, which is a very good move. Uh, and the last major asset we have is New Hope, and it's a little bit challenging at the moment with coal prices and negative sentiment, but uh, you know, we hope that in the near term we'll get some approvals for our Ackland asset and uh, we should see some, some upside there. As you've mentioned, your portfolio has always benefited from diversification. What's been the stellar performances in the last year? Well, a couple of years ago we were in a fortunate position where all of our major investments were performing really well, and it's always been the case that uh, you know, because of the uncorrelated nature of our major investments, we, we generally had a couple performing well and one uh, performing not so well. But a few years ago, they were all going in the right direction, which was fantastic. But in the last 12 months, as I said, uh, New Hope's uh, coming under a little bit of pressure with falling coal prices and negative sentiment towards coal. Uh, but I think that the, uh, the merger of TPG uh, and the strong performance out of Brickworks should, uh, should give us a, a boost in the portfolio. Todd, what does Sol yield at current prices and how would it fit in within a domestic portfolio? Well, our current yield is about 3.5% uh, grossed up, uh, which is not the best yield in the market, but uh, I think what's more important about our yield is the consistency of our dividend. And our approach is to try and uh, increase steadily our dividend every year uh, so that people have some real certainty about what our dividend looks like. So interestingly, uh, you know, of the 500 or so companies in the All Ordinaries Index, there's only been two that have been able to increase their dividend every year for the last 20 years. Uh, and we think that we're, our portfolio is in good shape to be able to continue that. No doubt some fantastic news, as you've mentioned, with the recent court ruling. What's the outlook for the next six months? Well, we're very cautious at the moment. You know, asset prices are very high. Uh, so we, you know, this is not the market for us to be aggressive. We have. Um, made a few new investments into uh, some new industries like retirement living, agriculture, and, and we're continuing to roll out some further investments in financial services where we see a lot of upside. Um, but generally, uh, you know, I think the next six months, hopefully we get a little bit more certainty around our major assets, uh, particularly in relation to the TPG Vodafone merger. Uh, and hopefully we get some approvals in relation to our Ackland asset in Queensland, uh, the coal mine there. Um, but, uh, you know, I think we're just playing it cautiously and waiting for our next opportunity. Wonderful. Now, is there anything else that you'd like to add? No, thank you very much. It's no. been fantastic. Lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you.